episode three of The Ones Who Live, now out. Let's talk about it. Okay, so the newest episode of the new Walking Dead, Rick Grimes and Michonne show, is now out on AMC Plus for you guys to go and watch. And look, I've loved the first two episodes. I feel like this show is showcasing what season 11 should have been like and at the quality level. This has taken it back to the old days of Walking Dead where we were watching it and we were loving it. Episode 3 continues on from where we left off now that we have Michonne now integrated into this organization. So she's going through the same routine that Rick was going through, you know, standing there, killing the walkers, you know, with the with the little whatever thing that is, the pickaxe. What? It's not pickaxe. Why am I saying pickaxe? The little spear thing. She's just there pop, pop, popping them left, right, and center. So we know that she's in there. What is going to happen now? That is the big question. And then we got the whole stuff at the end with Janice, who comes in and tells Rick, you leave with her. I'm going to flat out just make sure that everyone that you love and know dies. So Janice is already turned into a complete and utter menace. I mean, we already knew she was because she was the junkyard, the scrapyard chick that just was insane. Well, guess what? She's even more insane right now because she is just blackmailing this guy for the love of it. And she is trying to be like, look, I have everything that I want. So I want you to stay here. You can't live without her. otherwise." I'm going to pop off everyone that you know. So we already have this this structure going in with this whole entire organization of who is the ones not to trust and who are the ones to trust. Now, Pearl, I thought I could trust Pearl. I really did. I was like, you know, after the first two episodes, I was like, this is a character that I think I'm going to really like and I'm going to trust. And I'm going to, I can't wait to see her, Michonne and Rick just be complete badasses. And take down this whole organization and walk out free. Well, she gets promoted in this episode. And guess what? She learns out about a lot of things, apparently. She gets some information, some intel. And it completely flips her character. To now, I'm sitting there like, I don't trust her at all. And there is multiple incidents in this episode where she is flat out on the verge of killing Michonne. She doesn't like, like, there's this big standoff where she gets Michonne and they're standing there and she's got a hand behind her back and she's lifting the knife out behind her while asking Michonne questions because she isn't sure of Michonne. She believes Michonne is an A, which is a leader in their whole organization and what they believe. She's already believing that Michonne is that type of person that isn't just going to sit down and take orders, do the farming, do, you know, just general work and stuff like that. She's the one that's going to rise up, cause a ruckus amongst everyone and cause unrest that could lead to the collapse of this whole entire, you know, society that they've built from the ground up. So she isn't sure that we have Rick there, pull his gun, ready to shoot her. And I'm sitting there like, what is about to happen? But nothing happens. And then she takes Michonne with them to go and do this mission. And she tells her, you got to stay in the back. You just kill the stranglers that come through, the ones that don't die. You you do that. We'll take care of the rest. And it gets to a point where Pearl can't move the bomb. She can't move it at all. So as the walkers come in, she leaves and goes to try and take them out. So Michonne takes upon herself to be the badass that we know she is and move that thing herself and start ramming walkers. And it was freaking spectacular to see, man. I love it. And then when Rick jumps in there and you got Rick and Michonne there, I'm sitting there like, yo, this is OG Walking Dead. This is what I came to see. Them just pushing this machine with this plower thing at the front and it's just absolutely motoring over the top of them. It was so awesome to see, man. And then they blow that up and Michonne wants to leave, right? There is a moment before all this happens where Rick gets Michonne out and says, you need to go and leave me behind because I need a cover for you. So that way, you guys can live peacefully. Obviously, Michonne's not going to go. But we have that moment where they're sitting there at the tree after they've just murdered and blown up the bomb. They come back. And this is where she is pissed. Because after that, Pearl is pissed. Because after they did that, she's sitting there and she's scoping out Michelle, uh, Michonne. sorry, And she's about to shoot her. So Rick gets in front of it and stops it and that. 
but she's not happy. And now Rick's going to get promoted. So all of the dominoes are falling here where it's, I can't trust anyone but Rick and Michonne right now. I can't trust them. And we get this insane ending where they're on the helicopter in a storm. It's going after Rick just delivers an absolute heartbreaking, I don't even know what to call it. It was just pure mean to Michonne where he tells her that it's over. Everything they have is broken. Basically saying, I don't want you here. I don't want anything to do with you anymore. You need to go. End of it. Whether or not it's coming from a place where Rick is like, the only way to save you is to let you go. So I have to do that. I have to stay here to keep everyone safe. But Michonne's not having it. We know Michonne. She didn't come all this way to just turn her back on Rick and turn her back on Judith and not bring her father back. So what does she do? The ending of this episode, she unbuckles, opens the helicopter door up, grabs Rick, and they jump out. Yeah, they jump out of this helicopter in the middle of the storm. So, I don't know how high they are. I don't know what's below or anything like that. I guess we're going to find out whether they have a parachute or not. I don't know. It just cuts there and ends there. So, I don't know. But this episode was great. It continues on from the third one. It continues building this organization and painting them in a way where they're evil. And that they are doing things their own way. They want to kind of... I kind of get the hint that they want to rebuild society in their own image. The way they want it. And that is them having full control over the people. They only want people that are willing to listen to orders. Do what they want. And not think for themselves. That way there's no uprising or any rebellion or anything like that. So I'm really liking the villain angle with this whole entire organization. And hence why... I believe this should have been running with season 11 because this feels like a final villain that they needed to tackle rather than the Commonwealth. That's just me. I don't know if anyone else feels the same. But again, the action is brilliant as well. Loved it, especially when Michonne gets her sword back. Oh, it's just all... something about Michonne swinging that sword, cutting up walkers. It's just delightful. Who doesn't want to see that? So I'm liking what they're doing with the characters. I'm liking where Rick's going. I'm liking where Michonne's going and how what's going to happen next episode now. The stuff with Pearl, I'm interested to see what the information was that she learned because her character changed really quickly. Like there was a moment where you kind of like sitting there like Pearl is like, okay, she's kind of on the side of Rick and it's like, okay, she's willing to be loyal to Rick and help Rick out. And then she learns about this information. She just does a huge 180. And he's just like, no, nah, man, you don't know the shit I know. I, I, No, this isn't happening. So I'm interested to see what that information is and how that's going to tie into everything and what her ultimate goal is going to be. So, But overall, man, I love this episode. Let me know what you guys think. Did you guys love this episode? Smash down the comment section below. Smash that like button. Click subscribe. And I'll see you guys next video. Until then, stay safe. And peace out.